Welcome everybody. Today we got some sad news. Our brother IP just lost his nephew yesterday due to gun violence. My condolences, my brother. Um, I can't imagine the pain you're going through. Just to let you know, we're here to support you, my brother. And um, God bless you, brother. We love you, man. And, and hope everything works out. Um, we're not going to bash your name. We're just going to um, ask you some questions. Maybe you can answer these questions, Mayor Lightfoot, um, respectfully. We're coming to you with the utmost respect. We as the people want to know, do you have any programs in place? Do these programs exist? And if they do exist, are these programs helping out people? Why is it that police officers can't chase criminals? This is an order that you gave. Is it to protect them? I've seen many videos of criminals disrespecting the police department. Like there's no respect in the streets. So we as the people, we just asking, are there any programs in place? Is there anything in place near these high crime areas? Are you looking into these high crime areas to see how you can help? These are all questions that me, myself, and a lot of people have. Valid questions. Because a lot of our youths are dying. Right now, our brother lost his nephew due to gun violence. We ask you, can you please help? Can you unite forces with people that want to help? Is the government not funding you the funds you need or have requested? If that's the case, for you to create programs to help the youth, if that's the case, we want to know. Because crime rate is at an all-time high. You have older folks that are scared to go down the street because they're afraid they might get caught in the middle of a crossfire. Innocent people, we see it all the time. People die in their sleep in Chicago. Sleeping. I have heard stories that certain people, they sleep in their um bathtub. That's crazy. All we asking, Mayor, we not bashing you. We coming to you respectfully. What can you do to help? And if you are helping already, what programs you have in place right now that are helping? What plans you got to decrease the crime rate? We all know PTSD is at an all-time high in Chicago. These are just questions we ask it, Mayor, with all due respect. Nothing more, nothing less. Because it's just like, it's okay to do crime. That's the way it seems out there in Chicago. Like, you could go ahead and kill somebody and it's okay. Kids could walk around with guns around and it's okay. Cops are scared. We see it in these videos that people capture. What's going on? All we're saying is, why is this being allowed? Do you have the resources or do you, or do you not? And if you need the resources, are you reaching out to the people that you need to reach out so they could give you these resources? Because while you're trying to figure out all this that has just been mentioned, people are dying. Every second, every minute. And it's crazy. Like I said, kids grow up like this is a norm. They call it scorecards. A lot of people suffer. 
a lot of the innocent suffer. A lot of old folks, your mom, your grandmother, your father, your uncle, people that are old, they suffer. You can't even pump gas because it's so dangerous. That's crazy. You can't even pump gas in gas stations. Because 9 out of 10, you're going to get shot. And they don't care who you is. Innocent people get killed all the time. Rest in peace to King Von. Rest in peace to FBG Duck. And I could keep on. And the list goes on and on. Chicago is losing a lot of talented people too. When does this end? When does this stop? What does it take? Mayor, can you unite yourself with the streets and the hoods to see what's really going on? And maybe you could come to an agreement on how you could help out? Like, I don't understand. I think it's time to do field work, Mayor. Enough office work. Let's start doing some field work. Let's start walking through these neighborhoods and try to give support. Y'all stay blessed. God bless y'all. IP, my brother. We love you. Sorry that you had to go through this. My condolences to you and your family. And rest in peace to your nephew, my brother. And God bless Chicago. And put your guns down. Peace.